All right, YouTubers, um, here's a quick update to my <clears throat> boost controller. Um, so far I have uh, printed out this faceplate for the uh, gauge and I fitted it with the, um, with the uh, screen and also the uh, warning LED light. So uh, that's what I have in terms of this piece. This piece just sits right in. Uh, of course, the 3D model here is is not the finished product, but it's something to get me going. Um, so far, it fits in here, but I think there has to be some uh, some more modifications or uh, designing iterations uh, to get it to get the fitment good. So that's that. This is actually the PCB part that I have so far. Um, everything is on there now, and I've already programmed this unit. I've already got it working. <clears throat> so those are all the components and the parts. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but everything was hand soldered because I didn't have any um, solder paste or solder flex for this unit. So uh, it's actually all together and it's working. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to do some minor tweaks and some testing on the car just to make sure it works. But yeah, almost there. So let's. Uh, before I close this video, let me just hook it up and turn it on just so uh, we get an idea of what it's doing. Okay, it's fitted. Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to turn on the power. Okay, that's pretty much it. I have uh, uh, the capacitive touch is actually down here. So this is the capacitive touch for the menu, which is shit, which uh, which is gonna there's gonna be a spring that sits here that that goes all the way up to the back side of this here that sits within this round uh, indentation and this face plate here. And uh, basically, this is gonna be your touch button for the menu system. And here is the menu system where I can actually go through all the settings what I needed to do if I could I could decrease it or increase it duty cycle these are all the the settings of this unit so far I could save everything and go back to the main setting and I, I have in here three or I believe three or four different menu settings to give you different parameters but um, just for a quick video this is what it's doing uh, the next video is probably going to be in it within a car uh, showing how it actually works but for this video I'll leave it at this uh, if anyone's interested let me know uh, if you like it uh, like it thanks